In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this six stages product development process. As you can see here, I have created a design of the mobile and then from that one, I have created uh, six different uh, product development process. Uh, first, starting with the idea, you can add any icon and then you can add some detailed text. Then comes the next process or the, or the next step, which is the product definition, prototyping, initial design testing and release. And I've created a few more slides where with some different color combination you can see here I've used some different color combination and you can use this step one step two three four five six or if you would like you can increase those steps as well and if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please subscribe it and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link I have used office 2019 to do this if you're using some older version like 2007 or 2010 some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and then you can go to the shape format and increase the size or decrease it depending on your requirements so i'm going to make it uh, two inches and then make sure to align center align middle shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice then i'm just going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d keep this aside and then this one i'm going to make it as 1.35 all right and i'm just keeping it aside and i'm going to give some different color then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into uh, two pieces. Uh, one is uh, small. So for that, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. You can see here I'm not covering the half. I'm just, I want to cut it just more than the half, maybe 60% of the oval shape. So I'm going to cut this much, the one which is highlighted. So now I'm going to select this one, hold the shift key, select the rectangle, merge shape. You can see here I can subtract that one. All right, then I'm going to select this one and I'm going to put it exactly in the center and then you can select both of these. Make sure to align center and align middle, sorry, align center only. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one uh, mobile uh, device. For that, go to insert shapes. I'm going to select one rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size and make it less curved shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black then i'm going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and give some different color some light color and then reduce the size you can see here i'm just going to create the mobile screen all right and then it looks something like this to add some uh, the power buttons and the volume buttons you can add some rectangle here small rectangles by holding the shift key again shape outline no outline shape fill make it black so you can see here like this you can add it and once that is done you can select all and you can press ctrl g to group it you can you can see here using the mouse i'm just selecting all and press ctrl g to group it, it becomes one group now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape which I have done and bring it here and bring to front all right so it looks something like this so the next step I'm just going to select these two uh, shapes press ctrl G to group it ctrl D to duplicate or you can hold the ctrl shift key and just bring it like this and then go to the shape format rotate I can make it flip vertical and then you can just align it something like this you can see here like this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select both of this one hold the ctrl shift key and then i'm just going to put it like this so depending on your requirement how many steps you need you can add it so you can see here one two three four five six steps have been added so let me just remove these uh, guides and if you like to add uh, uh, some different colors some background you can just change it so, and before that one let me just add some background here i'm just going to select one uh, rectangle draw one rectangle like this you can see here from this end to this end shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any light color of your choice whichever color which you feel better 
you can just use it maybe i'm going to give a green color and send this to back all right and then what you need to do is i'm just going to add one more rectangle okay to cover this part so first of all i'm just going to make one rectangle maybe this much size you can see here it has to cover the whole uh, the white area or the white screen shape outline no outline shape fill whichever color again depending on your requirement you can use it maybe i'm just going to use this color send this to back all right and then i'm just going to duplicate this one or you can hold the control shift key like this and then increase it here till here then send this to back you can see here like this okay and then what you need to do is i'm just going to select all this and right mouse click group ungroup sorry group and ungroup so it's all ungroup now uh, whichever color which you like to add it here you can add it for example i'm just going to select the the light blue oval shape and shape fill whichever color which we have used i'm going to use that one same but it is not visible i'm going to add some shadow effect for that so right mouse click go to format shape and go to the shadow and give a shadow effect like this you can see here now if you like to change this one you can change it also and then coming to this one uh, as i mentioned earlier you can give the same color i mean you can give some gradient color here from this end to this end or you can give some individual color also whichever color which you feel better which matches the requirement so you can see here i can give some different color combination like this or if you want to give a color combination which is the gradient fill in that case what you need to do is you have to select all this uh, not the the oval shape this only by holding the shift key and then you have to union it then only you can give the the gradient fill so i can select the gradient fill and by default i have used the gradient fill here that's the reason you can see the gradient fill has been applied here if you want you can just change according to your requirement all right so once this is done now it's time to add the icons so go to insert icons and depending on the requirement which are icon which suits your requirement you can just choose uh, different different icons you can see here this is four and then i would like to add two more and here some trophy and click insert here i'm just going to make it the height and width as 0.6 and then this trophy should come here this should come here this will be here so you can see here different steps have been added here and if you like to change the color according to the color selection here you can change it so and make sure that this is properly aligned and then once this is done i'm going to insert a text box where i'm going to type step 01 make it bold reduce the size to maybe 14 and i'm going to use the font roboto center align and whichever color which you feel better you can just add that color and hold the control shift key together i'm going to add the one step here one more step here and then i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate this will come here for this and hold the ctrl shift key and drag it here like this so this is step one this is step two three four five and step six and then below this one you can add detailed text so i can just put add your detailed text here again i'm going to choose the same roboto font reduce the font to maybe to 11 if you want you can make it keep it black or some other color which you feel better you can just add any color of your choice and then i'm just going to put it here and then control shift key drag it like this then i'm going to select this one ctrl d again i'm going to put this at the top and here again i'm just going to hold the ctrl shift key and drag it like this 
so you can see here we have done this design and if you like to do some basic animation it's up to you you can do some animation to it